Not only was it the first time two popes were made saints together, but also the first time Mass was celebrated by a reigning pontiff and his retired predecessor. Benedict sat with the cardinals, and Francis offered the awaited proclamation. Beatos Ioannem Vicesimum Tertium. We declare and define Blessed John the 23rd and John Paul II be saints, and we enroll them among the saints, decreeing that they are to be venerated as such by the whole church. The ceremony was telecast to churches around Poland, where John Paul is both a religious figure and a political hero for his fight against communism. This is the shrine of the Pope known in Poland as Jan Paweł II, who's now their 31st Catholic saint. And many of his most devoted followers came here to watch the ceremony. The event also attracted non-Poles. Pauline Hamilton flew in from Northern Ireland to be where John Paul spent much of his life before becoming Pope. You know, this is his home. You know, this is where you feel him most real. <laughs> Masses of thanksgiving were offered after the ceremony, and people lined up to kiss one of John Paul's corporal relics. In central Krakow, a warm-up for an evening concert was underway, and the cafes around the square did not lack for business. Arek Macioka says John Paul is a legend to all Poles. I am the person from uh, the generation which was uh, covered with papacy of John Paul II and he had really big influence on, me, on myself, my people of, uh, of, of all people of my age. But Gosia Mazurkiewicz worries that memories of the Pope are beginning to fade. This celebration is so important to give us a chance to remind it one more time. John Paul was canonized just nine years after his death, and the hope is that what he did for Poland and for the Church will be remembered by generations to come. Jerome Sokolowski, VOA News, Krakow, Poland.